It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Won't you be my neighbor? Hi, television neighbors. Glad we're back together again t t today. I got three things I would like to, sh to, sh to show you today. This is an e e Easter uh, card. This is a picture of a diamond ring and a piece of steak. And this is a photo, is a photo of my mom holding a baby J James when he was just a little ba baby. Now, be before we go visit Mr. Bob, Bob, Bobby Dismondo at our neighborhood, uh, wildlife rattlesnake, uh, uh, park, um, we, we have just enough time for some some make believe before we get, we go over there so trolley hi tr trolley all right last time in the neighborhood of make believe we were pretending that um XDL and our dear Dear friend, M Mr. Uh, Ch Charles R. Aber, played by my d dad, was going out for a rattlesnake hike in the neighborhood of Make Believe. Let's let's pr pr pretend that. King Friday and Daniel Tiger are joining uh, Charles R. Aber on the make-believe rattlesnake hunt. But King Friday just isn't so curious anymore about the make-believe rattlesnake hunt. So let's so let's make believe that Charles R. Aber is still a little nervous about the rattlesnake hunt and he's very anxious t to help uh, King Friday, Daniel Tiger, and XDL uh, on the manly hunt. But it's it's not going going so well. So let's make believe some more about all of those things right now. At as the the trolley goes by the the castle, 
in the neighborhood of make believe. Are you ready to go, Charlie? Okay. Uh, Charles R. Aber, rattlesnake hiking expert, I presume? Well, sort of, your highness. I'm, I'm starting to have my doubts about my expertise. It's, it's been awful. I understand that you're a little nervous <gasps> yeah. about the rattlesnake hike. I am, I am. What if one of your subjects gets bitten by a rattlesnake? What will we do then? No, no, I'm nervous, yes. Don't be nervous, dear Aber, because Daniel Tiger and XBL are on your side. Oh, thank goodness. With XBL's keen eyesight and Daniel the Tiger's fierce claws and teeth, maybe we can keep the students safe. Uh, I, I think you'll do just mighty fine with the rattlesnake hike, dear Aber. Oh, X, will you keep your eyes peeled looking for the rattlesnakes so that our children don't step on them? Of, of course, oh. Mr. Aber. Oh, I'm feeling so much relief here. Yes. Uh, and I think you'll do nifty galifty. Oh, it warms my heart just hearing you say that. Thank you. Um, I'm Daniel, and I was wondering what what might become of my best friend Prince Tuesday. Well, let's hope that Prince Tuesday finds and catches a rattlesnake ever so carefully so as not to get bitten. Well, um, I, I hope, uh, your, your luck will ch change, Mr. Aber. My luck will change. I've never had a student get bitten. Does that mean you hope that somebody gets bitten? Why, of course not, <gasps> Mr. Aber. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Okay, Daniel. I'm not sure what you meant, but I'm glad that you don't mean you hope someone gets bitten. Well, thanks, thanks a lot, Trolley. <laughs> Well, I, I wonder what's going to happen on this rattlesnake hunt in make-believe. Will Daniel, King Friday, and XVL ever succeed on their make-believe rattlesnake hunt? Well, we'll have to make believe some more about that another time. Um, but, be but before I go visit the real life expert, uh, Bobby, Bobby Dismondo, I have a song for you. Um, there are many ways to say I love you. There are many ways to say I care about you. Many ways, many ways, many ways to say I care about you. There, there, there's, 
There's the loving way to say I love you. There's the loving way to say what caring love is. The loving way, the loving way, the loving way to say I love you. All right, now let's go visit Mr. Bobby Dismondo at our National Rattlesnake Wildlife Park. Come along. Bobby! Victor! How good to see you again! Thank, thank you for inviting me to the Rattlesnake National Wildlife Park. Oh, it was my pleasure. Did you bring your television neighbors? I, I did. I brought my television neighbors along for this uh, television journey. Hello, television neighbors. Welcome to the National Rattlesnake Wildlife Preserve. Oh, by the way, um, Mr. Bobby, um, Dismondo? That's me. I would like for you to introduce you to my t television pal. This oh. is mi mis Mr. Dis Dismondo. Hello, television pal. You can call me Bobby. Bobby D. Some people call me BD, you know, Bobby Dismondo. Some people call me BDM, Bobby Dismondo. But you can call me Bobby. They can call you whatever you like. Please call me Bobby then. Well, it's, it's a television program. Yes. What do you want them to call me? They can call you either Mr. Dismondo or or Bobby. Yeah, we're for all friends here. You can call me Bobby. All right. So, uh, Bobby. Yes, Victor. At at what age did did, did you start? becoming an expert on uh, rattlesnakes. Six months old. Six months old. Yeah. I was crawling in the backyard in New Mexico and there was a little hole and it was underneath the deck and a little bit of shade and I crawled out of the sun and what was there in the shade right next to me? A coiled up rattlesnake rattling its tail. Now, a lot of babies have rattles, you know, a little plastic thing or a gourd with something in it that shakes and rattles. Not me. I had my living rattlesnake and it rattled its tail and it looked at me and it sized me up and said, hmm, can I eat this guy? No, he's too big. Um, and so, you know, we developed a mutual respect for one another. And you became like a national scientist and an expert on rail snakes ever since you were uh, four years old. Well, that's true. I spent the next three and a half years, that's from age six months to age four, reading everything I could about rattlesnakes. I was a little precocious and yeah, I started reading when I was only seven months old. Um, and uh, my parents were fascinated with my reading ability. Uh, but, you know, I told them I only wanted to read about rattlesnakes, so they brought me every single book and magazine article they could find about rattlesnakes. 
I read them all, and by age four, I was a nationally known rattlesnake expert. And I had the truth. And uh, Bobby, I, yes, Victor. I um, talked to one of your parents the other day on one of my television programs the other day, and they told me that you you like to eat fortune fortune cookies. Up until now, when you just let the whole world know, because the whole world watches your show, that was one of my best kept secrets that I like fortune cookies. But yeah, it's true. I'll, I'll get them for spilling the beans. I have rattlesnakes, you know. <laughs> and I heard that your, your, your father, Miss, Mr. Um, uh, Derek Dis, Dismondo. DD, we call him, yeah. Um, also, dear dad. Um, work, with, work with you on studying the DNA on uh, rattlesnakes. That is true. My father was a microbiologist and he studied DNA. And when I was so fascinated with rattlesnakes, he decided to start studying rattlesnake DNA. And he's uh, provided me with a wealth of information. Now, I just have one final question before I have, I have to go back to, to my, my place. Okay. Um, I suppose for when a ch child learns to, to do grown up things like study the nature nature of rattlesnakes um I, I suppose they um learn the responsibilities of becoming rattlesnakes expert and learn learning the tr the true meaning of being friends with the rails sn snakes around them them themselves. Well, that's true, Victor, because if you're going to be around rattlesnakes, you'd better be an expert on how to be friends with the rattlesnakes because otherwise they get a little spooky, and when they get spooked, you know what they do? What? Da! Like that. They bite you with their fangs and inject poison. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, if you're gonna be a rattlesnake expert, you'd better learn how to be on friendly terms with all rattlesnakes. Well, Thank you, Bob, Bobby, for inviting me and my television neighbor to, to, to your wildlife rattlesnake park. Oh, it was my pleasure. It was the, the best visit I could ever hope for. Oh, Victor, you say the kindest things. Thank you for coming. And thank you too, television neighbor. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Well, I, I, I better be going. Okay, good to see you again, Victor. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah. And just remember, if you hear a rattle, you better take a good look to see what's making that rattle noise. Yeah, and tell your 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 mother and father, Miss uh, 
Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Dis Dismondo that I, s I said hello. Well, I will do that. Good to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. Come along. Isn't Bobby Dismondo one, one the the world's greatest uh pe people in the whole wide world? I'm glad I got the chance to meet someone like that. You you know. When, when people are nice to you and when the more you learn about the expertise of rattlesnake, you can learn some big things about growing up and you can find how easy it is to learn to grow up to be a better person and when you and when you grew grew up to to, to love somebody else and 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 they they can give you nice nice feelings about the people around you it 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 could give you very uh kind feelings to be able to know that you're a grown up person too that enjoy studying of rattlesnakes as 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 well it's such a good feeling to know you're alive it's such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up Ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when the, when the week is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about. I will too. You always make each day and each week a special one for me. You and You'll learn from expertise like Bobby Dismondo, who could really help you grow up to be a better person. You and he make each day and each week a special one for you by growing up. And that's what I like about you. And I'll be back next time. Tell television one goodbye.